Well, we got a Raw show to talk about, and this show was definitely different in the sense that we had Ciampa uh, win two matches on this show to get a shot at Bobby Lashley at the uh, next week on the show for the U.S. title. And we had different people pushed. We had certain people that to, weren't to a, on to the a, show. To a, to a degree. We had longer matches. We had a lot you more know, wrestling. We had no 24-7 title. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know if that... We, we didn't have it. I don't know if it's dropped, but, but I mean, it was... It was it was not referred to or anything like that. So the key thing, and this is what you know, the rating was going to be good anyway because it's the show after SummerSlam. But they did a commercial-free first hour, so the first hour number will be you know much higher because you lose a lot of viewers during commercials. And then even in the second and third hour, they were doing um, the side by side, you know, where they would show it rather than go to the full commercial, which is you know like NXT does and like. AEW does, um, but Raw only did that. The only time Raw has done that of late was July the 4th, which they did to attempt to counteract the idea that, you know, July 4th would, in theory, be a terrible rating rated show, and it actually wasn't, and that may be part of the reason. So, you know, even though the rating um, would have been up no matter what because it's the show after SummerSlam, we might be surprised at how high the rating is. Um, which isn't necessarily fully, you know, based on the show, but based on those those things that they did. Like the commercial free hour is really going to help hour number one, which would have been big anyway. Um, and you know, as far as like other stuff, uh, you know, I think it helps the longer matches that you saw the whole matches rather than the breaks. Um, but yeah, they, they were, there were several longer matches. There was more wrestling. I think the matches were better than usual. Um, you know, I mean, they used, look, they used better wrestlers and gave them more time. So the matches were better than usual. Um, we definitely don't have, you know, clean finishes. I mean, there's, there was, I mean, there was two non clean finishes and one was in Asuka and, um, uh Alexa Bliss and that made sense because it built for a match later in the sense that they were trying to get you know the Bailey squad over so they interfered and attacked both so that that one there was like a reason for that one and then the other one which was Bianca Belair and Io um you know they just did a, a no contest after like almost 18 minutes um they just had everyone run in and it was one of those deals where you know, in this case, it was, we don't want to beat either person. So um, that's what they did. They just had everybody run in, and it was no contest because they didn't um, they didn't want uh, Bianca to lose, and it would have been very silly for Io to lose in her debut. So uh, that was uh, that was the deal there. With the post-SummerSlam clips with Lesnar, and then the main event was the Usos versus Ray and Dominic for the tag team titles. They went 16 minutes, and another good match. Yep, I liked the match. Yep, Ray was really good, and they gave Dominic a lot of big spots as well to try to get him over. And obviously, the, the Usos are great. And uh, at the end there, uh, Dominic hit a big frog splash. It barely got broken up by uh, Jay. Jay Super was that was that the one where the fans were booing because um, the referee had a hold, the referee had to hold up the count? Uh, it might have been that one. I, I I mean, it could have been, but it looked like he he broke it up in time. The uh, ref held up. I, I watched the ref. The ref held up, and yeah. that's why the people that's why the people booed, and there was some bullshit chance. So finally, uh, Jay super kicks Ray outside. Dominic hits a dive, and then uh, they're fighting up on the top rope. Dominic and Jimmy. And uh, Dominic pushes him off. He goes for the 619, but Jay makes a blind tag. And as he's running for that 619, they hit him with the 1D and pin him. It's a great looking finish. And uh, they got the win. They retained the titles. And after they left, Balor P- uh, Priest and Ripley all came out and they attacked the Mysterios. Edge made the save, raced down, and he gave Priest a DDT, went for the spear. But as he's going for the spear, Rhea shoves Dominic, and Edge ends up spe- spearing Dominic. And so he chases the heels away. Ray gets back in the ring, 
they they played it up like Ray might not have known that it was an accident. Right, right. That, that's what they tried to say. But in the yeah. building, they showed the replay on the big screen, and like, I mean, I guess we at home, you know, didn't see Ray watching it. But I mean, he's right there watching this giant replay on the big screen. But they tended to Dominic as a show went off the air. I thought this was a good show. It's not yeah. like a great show. But a lot of the stupid shit was, that we've seen in previous better, weeks, the booking is better, there's less cornball goofiness. It's just a good, solid wrestling show now. Yeah, it was better than it's been. Um, it's hard. Look, doing three hours is hard, because like even if you're doing a good job, that third hour is very, very tough, um, You know, and you just can't get away from that. But uh, it, didn't, um, it didn't drag as much in hour three to me as as it usually does i think that it you know well they didn't do that last half hour thing that they've been doing forever where, where they just stall and stall and stall. yeah where they bring them out at 25 after and then there's you know package commercial entrance commercial package there were commercial. a lot of packages though there were but it wasn't like i mean it felt like the show kept going it didn't grind to a halt like it used to yeah yeah i mean i thought it was i thought it was definitely better uh, but, you know, again, the original stuff is going to be better, and, uh, you know, we'll wait and see. You know, um, it's going to be several weeks before everything's positioned. There's going to be some people who, you know, I, I've heard from some talent, and, and generally they are positive, but there are definitely people who, are, you know, are worried that they're going to lose their spots. And there will be some people who will because you're going to have different versions of or visions of who the top people are. And, and not everyone can be a top person. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.